It's in Hebrews, the 12th chapter and the 11th verse. No chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness. Luke, the fifth chapter and the fifth verse. Repeat after me. We have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Second Corinthians, the seventh chapter, and the fifth and sixth verses. I'm going to ask you to think with me. Repeat, for when we were coming to Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. Without were fightings, within were fears. Nevertheless, God. Catch somebody by the hand and tell them, nevertheless. I wonder, have you ever considered how great an element of paradox there is in our human life? Jesus preached in so many paradoxes until the people were not able to get the contrasting philosophies. You must win by losing. You must go up by going down. And if you will follow life, you will find many strange and unusual paradoxes in life. And uh, some of them uh, will be so con disconcerting until they will confound many of our plans. You know, many of us have our plans for the future. When I was a boy, I was going to get this and I was going to get that before I got married. But when I got married, I only had a suitcase. Just when we think we found a formula to fit the facts of life, and then something unpredictable and eccentric turns up and just upsets our little makeshift philosophy of life. Just when we think that we have established the rule, then we discover the exception to the rule. And sometimes it's enough to embarrass us. Sometimes it's embarrassing to be a Christian put you in some embarrassing situations. Yes, sir. It, uh, it puts you in positions that if you are not really committed to the task, you'll feel humbled and embarrassed in your spirit. But if you will stick with it, sometimes life plays havoc upon the things that we've planned, all oh, my plans. And how I have planned to do this and planned to do that. And the very plans you f have formulated and set on it. And then something unpredictable cops up and knocks them all down. Like the little boy on by the seaside that makes his mud man and then the wave knocks it down. All right, I mean that life is so funny. Until at the very middle of it you're going to find a never the less. Ah, uh, we have to say this. Life is a thing that's fair and lovely, and it's an element in it that's un and yet with all of the beauty of life, how sublime it is, and yet there's an element in life bitter and cruel. Man is made a little lower than the angels, and yet there's nothing in the world that can go lower than man. For man does things that animals won't do. I've never heard of an animal being a homosexual. Never seen a dog sissy in your life. But men degenerate from that lofty heights of being just a little lower than an angel to being less than beast. That's the strange paradox of life. Yes. Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light. And yet don't let nobody fool you. It's not easy to be a saint. There's a thousand opportunities every day of your life 
to lose your soul. And don't pay any attention to these people that's got an automatic salvation.